Here is my ID and my one-sided note card. All right, if you guys could introduce yourselves and then just give me your ages. Uh, hi, I'm Troy Mealy. I'm 29. I'm hi. Patricia and I'm 70. Oh, sorry. I'm Kristen, I'm 22. I'm Anna, 46. I'm Casey, I'm 38. Okay. So everyone knows there are some good and some bad aspects to social media use, but many times the bad aspects are ignored and so the social media cycle often begins. Today I'll be sharing some information regarding the pros and the cons of social media use with you. And I'm also hoping to share some tips about how to balance that in your day-to-day -day lives and in turn improve your relationship with it. While I've been using social media for the past 10 years, I've also been doing some extensive research regarding this topic for the past couple weeks. Before I get into the details, let's review the three main points that I will be sharing if you wanna click onto the next slide. First, I will explain the positive aspects of social media. Then I'll go into the negative aspects of it. And finally, I'll wrap it up with some tips on how to balance it. So let's go on to the next slide and dive into the good things about social media. First of all, social media was designed as a communication tool. They allow for even the most introverted person to communicate socialize and connect with family and friends. The same can be said for your professional network. Networking has never been easier. You can reach out and stay in contact with important people in your circle, as well as share articles and current events with your colleagues. Social sites also allow you to connect with people with similar interests as you. According to Michael Fayo from Develop Good Habits, when used in moderation, it can provide fun and enjoyment. Now let's go on to some of the negative aspects of social media use. If you wanna click onto the next slide. One of the main problems with social media use today is that it shows users an unrealistic view of people's lives. Many times people are taking photos on their best day and choosing the best picture out of all those photos. So it just shows people that life should be perfect. According to Mayo Clinic, social media can also cause disruptive sleep and increased anxiety and depression, especially in teens. A study backed by Mayo Clinic done in 2019 with more than 6,000 12 to 15 year olds found that those who spent more than three hours a day on social media had actually lower, had an increased risk for mental health problems. Another problem that affects social media users is low self-esteem. A team of researchers at Ryerson University in Toronto compiled over 120 studies and found that there is a significant negative relationship between social media use and low self-esteem. Now that we have gone through the pros and the cons of social media, I will share some useful tips on how to balance it. If you wanna click onto the next slide. It is important to do this so you can prevent social media addiction as well as just take care of your mental health. One thing you can do is set some boundaries. Schedule one to two specific times throughout your day where you only check social media during those times. According to Angelica Gaskins, a social media consultant, this can give you something to look forward to and keep you from checking things constantly. Another good idea to help you balance social media is to plan some face-to-face -face meetups with your friends. This will keep your social life more interactive and fulfilled because this interaction is happening in person. The last tip I'll leave you with today is to find a new hobby. Many times people turn to social media because they're bored or they want to kill some time. Laura Stockdale of Brigham Young University explains that using social networking sites to alleviate boredom may place individuals at an increased risk for developing pathological tendencies towards social networking sites. 
So substituting a hobby for social media can definitely improve your social well-being. So let's review the three main points that we went over today. First, we went through the pros of social media, then we went through the cons, and then I shared some useful tips on how to balance social media use in your day-to-day -day lives. So remember, balancing social media can improve your overall mood, improve your self-esteem, and even your mental health. So next time you find yourself scrolling for too long, go outside, get active, meet up with a friend, or even pick up a new hobby. All right, do you guys have any questions at all? I have one. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what social media sites do you use personally? Currently, I use Facebook and Instagram the most. I have used Snapchat and I use TikTok occasionally. And also, if you want to consider Facebook Messenger, I use that actually pretty often as well. Um, do you think uh, social media usage affects like real real life face to face interactions? I think social media use has helped the world decrease on in person interactions. But I feel like that will never really go away. We just have to keep in check and make sure that we're still meeting up with our friends in person and finding those in person connections as well on top of social media. Gotcha. Anyone else have any questions? So, like, if you use social media for business, for work, then how, how might you kind of like um, find that balance between work and life, work and fun, I guess? So luckily today, on a lot of these social media sites, especially Facebook, Instagram, I want to say even TikTok, but I'll have to double check, they allow for you to schedule your posts. So you can create your posts ahead of time, batch all your content together, and then schedule them all at once. So you're really minimizing that social media use. And as for the engagement side, because you would be on the social networking site less, like I mentioned in my speech, you could set certain times throughout your day that you will only be engaging or updating things within those time, time limits. Awesome. Any other questions? I don't think so. All right. Cool. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. You can end it.